everybody, I know there is a bicycle next to me. I don't know why. We rented this cute house for the vacations and we love it. But now let's go to prepare today's lunch that would be bison meatballs. I hope you will like them. The main ingredient is bison ground meat, but you can prepare this dish with any ground meat, so it is really versatile. Then you will need fresh parsley and lemon zest. These two ingredients will give freshness to your meatballs. Finally, some Parmesan cheese, salt and your favorite spices, but also butter and heavy cream for the sauce. Let's start by seasoning our meat with some salt. When we travel, I always bring with me this salt with herbs and red hot chili pepper, so I have a lot of flavor in one jar. Then it's time to grate our parmesan. As you know, it's better to do it by yourself because in already grated cheese, you can find cellulose, that is paper, and even antibiotics. Apart from that, freshly grated parmesan tastes so much better. You can use the same grater for the lemon zest and your kitchen will already smell amazingly. As you can see, I turn the lemon all around because I need only the yellow peel, not the white part underneath that is too bitter. I'm not measuring the ingredients because this is not necessary and your meatballs will taste great anyway by personalizing them. Be more generous with the flavors you like and make this dish perfect for you. Now some fresh parsley cut as little as possible and our mix is ready. I know it's not nice to watch, but it's really fun and it's the easiest and fastest way to shape our little balls. So don't hesitate and use your hands. If you cook with your kids, I'm sure they will be more than happy to help you. Today I'm cooking just for me and for my 20 years old son, so you can consider this quantity perfect for two persons, but Umberto eats quite a lot, so these are definitely very generous portions. An important advice is to make very small meatballs because they don't contain any breadcrumbs, so they will be a little drier. The good news is that we can cook them with delicious fat, so they will taste even more yummy than the normal ones. A ketogenic diet is a low carb and high fat, so the dishes are really tasteful and naturally gluten free. These meatballs can be eaten without problems by people with celiac disease because they are made without any bread. Here you can see our beautiful 15 meatballs ready to be cooked in salty butter. When I use butter, I like to cook at medium heat, 
but also when I use extra virgin olive oil because I don't want to reach their smoke point. A little tip that I hope will be useful is to cook with ghee that has a much higher smoke point. It burns at 250 degrees Celsius instead of 150 degrees Celsius of normal butter. Our meatballs are browning on one side, but both the medium temperature of the stove and their little size will allow them to cook also inside without the need of a lid. In this way they will also have more flavor because they won't cook with the steam, but with our delicious brown butter. Our meatballs are cooked both sides and they are sticking on the bottom of our pan, so it's time to add some heavy cream. As you can see, I'm also preparing some spinach, but to match our side dish with the main dish, I'm cooking them in butter too. And at the end, I will sprinkle our veggies with some lemon juice, so their taste will have a connection with the zest that we grated before. Just the time to make our sauce a little thicker and our lunch will be ready, delicious and definitely ketogenic. Nine meatballs for my son and six for me. Then some spinach and it's done. If you want more fat, you could also add some grated Parmesan cheese on top of your spinach. But on a warm summer day, this is how we are going to enjoy our low carb, high fat meal. I really hope you like today's recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. See you here every Monday with a ketogenic video in English, every Wednesday with the same video in Spanish and every Friday in Italian. See you next week and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Today I will also show you the beautiful East Hampton Main Beach. So if you love the ocean, keep watching because this is a true paradise.